Thomas wishes you to live true. Far from New Eden, far from the English. After he died, he stuck around, trying to get you to change your ways. But you did not listen. I did what I had to do. They may call it treason. I call it loyalty. Then I hope you understand what I must now do. Et de loin le plus perfide. That was tough. I'd like to think I'd have done no different. As long as I draw breath. I'll do all I can to protect you. I know.
Look to me. to open this. So you want a map? Do you wish to sail the seas, or perhaps to know which way is Boston? Or do you wish to travel west and claim land? So? I've done my rounds, as you asked. And? You were right to name the widow Hake. She was haunted by her husband's ghost. I fixed it. Voila. I suppose I shall believe you. Anything else to report? Other hauntings are likely. I've no particulars as yet. All right. So, I'll thank you kindly, Mr. McWraith. You've done your part and earned your place. My sister should soon return. She'll surely want to meet you. Until then, you may stay. I'll take my leave. I do.
forgive me. I ought to startled. Oh well. Ain't you a sight? Who are you, then? Red McCraith, ma'am, the banisher. To whom do I owe the pleasure? Oh, the Scotsman. I like your accent, and I like your manner, too. Nelly. Nelly Heaton. A friendly Londoner. I like her already. So, what's the chatter? Bad news travels faster than good. What would you like to know? What can you tell me of Kate Newsmith? I like her. She's different from her sister. Sensible. Watchful. When she speaks, I listen. What think you of thick-skinned Newsmith? She ain't perfect, that's for sure. But she's independent, fair-minded, strong in body as in character. She cares for us. I know it in my heart. Even if she doesn't show it, why else would she shield us from the beast? How's life about the place? We're doing our best to make things work. The beast is worrisome, it is true. But thick skin knows what's what. I'm sure we'll be fine. To the point, madam. Kate Newsmith worries for you, and for your husband too. Year round. Fortune left some hours ago and hasn't come back. I confess I'm beginning to worry. What if the beast got him? Did he not say where he was going? Thick skin has him making nails for the stockade. She presses him and he feels the weight of it. Did you fight? We're best friends. We don't fight. He's a good man. He never lies. He'll put you at your ease, and before you know it, you're laughing. He is also devout. Almost forgot. It wasn't always so. Coming to New Eden saved us. It saved the marriage. I should go look for your husband. He's no woodsman, so he can't have gone far. Please, do find him. I didn't come this far only to lose him now. Can I have a look around your house? Yes, if it helps. Thank you for your time, Mrs. Eaton. Welcome. I've enjoyed our chat. It's nice to have someone new to talk with. from the past linger nearby. That drill bit is dull as a hammer. Sounds nasty. That ghost sounds obsessed. No blacksmith and no tools. Could he have taken them with him? These nails look brittle. 
Metalworking isn't easy, but this stuff is surprisingly shite. Haskell chose the blacksmith for his mastery, but the work is poor. Reveal your true self. Focus, Red. My voice commands you! Unveil! That's not the ritual I'd have used. Through a single point passes an infinity of paths. That's no ghost threatening Nanny. That's her husband. It seemed that he was fighting the urge to hurt her. So, the blacksmith has gone missing with his tools. And a saltwater ghost haunts the forge. Let's go find it. Footprints. Tackety boots with hobnailed soles. They're stained. I think I can uncover the traces. Let's see if the trail leads to our blacksmith. A moment. Well, that's handy. Imagine all those years hunting ghosts, how much time we could have saved. Come on, let's go find our blacksmith. Think you of the blacksmith and his wife. A ghost haunts Fortune Heaton and his smithy too. Aye, but whose?
with me. I have another in sight. Saint Joseph, but Lord Jesus, Mary and Joseph, assist me in my last agony. Oh my God! Standing by. Come out. To safe. Uh, are they you, whoever you may be, for whatever you have done, I thank you. I thought I was done for. Fortune Heaton, sir, and so very pleased that you came along. Red McCraith, the banisher. Weren't there two of you? There were, yes. As it happens, I've been looking for you. You have? Uh, what for? How are things with Nelly? Good. Yeah, good. It's, uh... Nice. Having a wife. A home. Nelly is, uh... A fine woman. Clever, brave, generous and... Kind. She's a blessing. How did you meet? Meet? How did we meet? Well, you know, we just... Uh, met. Does he not remember, or does he not want to say? Come now, Mr. Heaton. No need to be embarrassed. A wee bit of romance is good for a man. Romance? It's not. I... Uh, I helped her with a thing. She helped me with a thing. We stayed together, helping each other with things. Doing right by one another can bring a couple together. Doesn't always need... Romance. So, you're the blacksmith. What's that like, then? Uh, it's all right, I suppose. You busy? Yes, of course I am. <laughs> Lots of building work to be done. That means nails, a whole lot of nails, like an ocean of stupid bloody nails. I love when a man takes pride in his work. I heard you praying. I thought I recognised the text. You did? You sure? Nelly painted him a pious Puritan. Aye. Thought he sounded Catholic. Oh, well, just... Coincidence? <sighs> Look, here's the truth. I'm a convert. I did it for Nelly. I am... was Catholic. It was a convenience more than a calling. Keep it to yourself, please. I need to fit in around here. Not my business. I won't tell us all. <sighs> Thank you. That's twice I owe you. What are you doing out here anyway? Do you not fear the prowling beast? Oh, I needed a walk. A bit of fresh air, a bit of light. Forge is... Well, it's dark and hot, isn't it? I didn't mean to be a worry. We all enjoy walking the woods while burdened down with smithing tools. Why did you bring your tools? Yeah, why did I bring my tools? Why? Uh, why? Because... Because they're wanted. That's why. I'm sorry, it's just... I'm losing my tiny little mind. And it's them godforsaken tools to blame. I start working with them, and then I look up, and half the day's gone, and I am somewhere else entirely, and <laughs> that's not even the worst of it. When I return to the forge, the work is done. The tools are haunted, and I'm getting rid of them as deep in the woods as I can go. Did the haunted tools tell you to kill your wife? No. Yes. Maybe. No. I, I would never hurt her. Yes, they told me to hurt her. Maybe. Maybe I'd have hurt her. Can you help us? 
Yes. But I can't guarantee you'll like the result. Head for camp. I'll take a look at the tools. Once they're safe, I'll follow. Yes, sir. Absolutely, sir. Thank you, Banisher. I'll... <laughs> Thank you. The words of a ghost may resonate here. Ghost lays claim to the forge and everything in it. The flat of the echo is missing from the toolbox. If it's not around here somewhere, he lied to us. Let's see where the back door leads. <laughs> <laughs> 